Okay, so tonight we're talking about uh, Deck the Halls with Bows of Holly, fa la 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 Tis the season to be awakened, not jolly. Jolly's okay, but we need to wake up, okay? And here's the problem I'm having, all right? Now, I'm looking around at all of these protests and all of this stuff going on with the election and with all, all this stuff, and I'm not seeing preachers, you know? We need believers out there. We need believers out there to guide what's happening, this movement. And there is an awakening that's coming up. And I want to speak to a few people. First of all, I want to talk to the dads out there. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to the, to the brain dead daddies, all right? The brain dead daddies are the guys sitting on the couch watching their ball game. And, oh, by the way, you're watching a ball game and 90% of the players are kneeling as they're singing the national anthem, they're kind of degrading the flag, and you're sitting there paying money to watch them, you're watching them on television, and yet we got soldiers that are dying, giving their life, and bring dead daddy, you're watching this on television, you have no clue what's going on in the, in the country, you have no clue what's going on in your community, wake up. But I'm a Christian. I go to a church. Well, when I can, they close down all my churches and I have to wear a mask and stay six feet away from everybody. You know, shut up. Just listen to me. Get a grip. God gave you a family. He gave you children. He gave you a wife. Step up to the plate and act like a man. Stop being a brain dead daddy and laying on the couch. I ask people, you know, that I meet during the course of a day. Fathers, hey, what do you think about this election? What do you think about, you know, what's going on here? What do you think about, you know, what the, the laws they're passing on abortion? What the, oh, man, I don't know. I don't pay any attention to that. What are you, nuts? Don't call yourself a Christian if you cannot understand what's going on around you because your children are going to follow in your footsteps. Yeah, and then we got the soccer mom mummies. I want to call them soccer mummies. Mummies because they're mummies. They, they, they're wrapped up in soccer and wrapped up in, you know, the world of what's on, you know, what's the latest fad here? What's the latest television? Oh, I binge watch Netflix. Stop it, mom. Understand what's going on in your school. Understand what's going on in your community, in your government. Okay, so dad won't do it. You step up the plate and do it. Open that Bible every morning. Read to those children. So we got people dropping the ball in the family. Huh? What's this all about? But I want to tell you somebody that does not drop the ball nine times out of ten is, is usually the grandma. Yeah, if you've, got, if you've had a grandma or you have one like I had who just... No, get out of her way, because I'm telling you what, she'll grab Goliath by the ear and she'll just jerk him right down to the ground and make him cry uncle. Oh, yeah. Granny, let me tell you something. She doesn't put up with nonsense. You don't mess around with grandma. She will flat tell you exactly the way it is. And she'll tell you what color it is. And she'll tell you how big it is or how little it is. And she doesn't care what anybody thinks. She doesn't even know how to spell politically correct. That's what we need. That's what we need to carry forth the torch. The preachers aren't doing it. And when I say there's people out there calling themselves Christians, you know what? I believe they are. I believe a lot of them are. It's just, you know, some people say, David, they can't be a Christian because they're, they're using four-letter words out there in those protests. Let me tell you something. You want to hear a four-letter word? If you call yourself a Christian, you're not doing anything. You want to hear a four-letter word? I'll give you one, and it's for you. It's called fake, F-A-K-E. That's a four-letter word. You don't want to hear God say that word to you, or I don't want to hear him say it to me. So I got to thinking about this. There's people out there, and sure, they use some four-letter words. They do, you know, I'm not condoning it, but I'm saying, look, at least they're out there. At least they're trying something. At least they're doing something. At least they're not sitting on the couch and watching the football game or heading off to some soccer game, by the way, which is played on a Sunday morning most of the time. But let's get back on track. Who's, who's holding this family together? When we can't depend on the preachers and on the moms and the dads, who can we depend on? We can always depend on granny because granny is always going to be there. 
underground granny. It's the little old lady from Pasadena fighting the good fight. Kicking the devil's butt. Underground granny. So, I got underground granny. She's probably going to kill me, but I'm going to call on my first granny. Um, Terry, are you with me? Uh, Terry, you out there? I know Terry. Terry's my, my granny. And, and you know what? Granny is going to bring us information that, that sometimes we don't get other places. So I don't know. Is she out there? Terry, are you with me? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> what do you think of my little commercial there? It's for you. <laughs> All right. So, hey, Terry. Okay. So, listen, let's get right to the point. Yes, um, you've got some information you want to share with everybody. Uh, um, it, there's a thing called puberty blockers. Now, yes, I don't, what in the world is a puberty blocker? It's a pill that helps the children decide what gender they want to be, a boy or a girl. In other words, it sort of postpones it for them so, so they can decide. Oh, it, 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 you mean, wait a minute, let me get this straight. They take this pill <clears throat> and this pill will suppress their, their puberty until they can decide if they want to be a boy or a girl? That's it. What? Is this coming out of a pharmacy somewhere? Do you have to go on a street corner and buy it? Is it an underground pill or is it, I mean, where does it come from? Um, actually, the way it is, uh, people can do their own research. And that's what I would say because um, the doctors, the parents, because uh, the best way I want to really explain it, David, is the family wants their children and the best for the children. And it could be to where be from a doctor or even oh. and even the kids, oh. um, you know, from different areas. As I said, you can research it. Some, okay. um, yeah, it's yeah. sad. It's sad. Oh, okay. All right. Puberty pills. So you guys out there go out there and research that that's coming from Terry. The time has come for God's people to take a stand. Legalize Jesus. Text 71777, the word chosen, to 71777, or go to davidhevener.tv forward slash chosen. Join the movement.